All right, thank you so much for showing up here with me today. This is a beginner practice or practice for anyone. Um, yoga is for everybody. So I want to encourage people to just to get their bodies moving. Yoga is a tool for us. It's a gift that's been given to us. And it's truly my passion to share it. I have experienced yoga myself through my own personal transformation, as well as through so many friends and yogis and newcomers coming in, the transformation that it has um, transpired. I am a certified health coach and a 500 RYT yoga instructor. And I have really noticed through my health coaching that yoga has been the main focus on top of our diet and nutrition. Yoga has been the key to helping get to that next step. Yoga is about yoking together, unity. And through our yoga practice, we physically are moving our essence. So we really need to shift our physiology, that physical imprint that we hold. Um, so exercise is key, any form of exercise. The tool with yoga is every posture energetically wakes something up within our body, within our energy lines, and it allows for a releasing, a healing through our um, maya koshas, so our physical essence, through our mental um, and emotional, our energetic. And as we connect in these spaces, um, we're able to do a releasing. Um, through our reasoning and processing, we can have these layers, these encasements around our soul that kind of hold us back, that create our narrative, our story. So we all have had this life that we've lived and we now have played into the story we've created through our perceptions. Um, we either come in, we birth in, you know, things even from our family lines that we hear and that we hold on to that we don't even know is our, in our DNA. And it ends up creating our thoughts and our behaviors. And we create this and then we create this life based upon this narrative and story through our perceptions. And our process and reasoning center, as we have these encasements around our soul, can be distorted. So we hold ourselves back. We have fear, we have limited beliefs. We have the I can't, the poor pity victimhood mentality. Um, you know, we just play the pity party with ourselves and we stay stuck in it, we perpetuate it. And then we wonder why we don't have the life that will, why do we have that life or why do we have this? And then we get stuck in complaining and then misery loves company and we stay stuck in it and stay stuck in it because we just keep perpetuating it. Yoga is a gift to help us break free from it. And as a yoga instructor and as a health coach, I do know that the fundamentals of truly bringing a good quality balanced life is um, through our spiritual practice, um, the relationships that we have. We are human beings, spiritual beings having a human experience and we are here collectively together. And we need one each other. We have relationships with one another. And our quality of life depends upon those relationships that we have. And if we're not, in a healthy relationship, it's how can we work to make that better? Having healthy boundaries, whatever that looks like. Um, having a fulfilling purpose in our life. We are all born with a purpose. We all have a purpose. If we don't know our purpose, it's figuring that out. It's going deep within us, the listening to that intuitiveness, that inner guidance. Um, well, yoga, again, is a tool to help cultivate that. Um, also, with um, our physical movement, you know, we. Energy-wise, I mean, our energy is good, we feel good. When we just are moving our body, we release endorphins in our brain, uh, the serotonins and dopamines to just flood us, and we're able to have more clarity and make better choices through our day. So I wanna encourage you as you come to your mat, and it's a lot of information, it's heavy stuff, right? But it's all good stuff, because we have the power, we have the tools, um, we just have to use them and know how to use them. And yoga is a tool. And so I'd like to encourage you to come standing on your mat. So I'd like to start standing because um, this is our end part right here. So we're going to stand in mountain pose. This is Shanasana mountain pose, and it's a grounding posture. So as we stand here energetically, I want us to lift onto our toes and back onto our heels. Wiggle your piggies. Just rock back and forth. And just align your ankles, knees, and hips. Now roll out to the knife edge. To me, that feels amazing just because we don't really place our feet in that direction, but our feet and our ankles, they carry us. Just go ahead and rock inward, kind of knock knee yourself in, pull the knife edge up, and just rock back and forth. And then align your ankles, knees, and hips. Have a neutral spine. Slight tilt to your pelvis. Draw the navel in. And as we have three energetic locks through our body that are the main ones. So a root lock of the pelvic floor. It's a lifting through the perineum, not as intense as a Kegel, so not quite as intense. Um, 
just slightly less, and then engaging through the sphincters as you lift up towards the navel, that navel lock back towards the spine, lifts up towards the sternum. We're gonna draw our shoulder blades down and back. You're gonna draw your chin in and lengthen the spine, reaching crown up. So just give yourself a throat on it. And then we open up the space in our chest cavity for deep diaphragmic breathing. So maybe take your hands to your um, ribs and just massage them. Just do a nice little massage in there, pat them, you know, break anything up, run it in the back. Our lungs are our prana, our life force, they are our life giver. So you want to nurture them, maybe squeeze them more, and not just in a rough squeeze, a loving. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then just stand here in anatomical positioning, palms facing forward, fingers spread wide, and just take a big inhale through your nose and a big exhale through your mouth. Let's do a little reset to the mindset. What I mean by that is like just checking in, observing, without judgment, just be the observer where your mind is. Notice those thoughts. What feelings arise, emotions arise with those thoughts. Just be okay with it. Trust in the process of where you are. And then go ahead and bring your hands to heart center with humility, with kindness, love, and respect. We begin our journey on our mat as we are open to receive what our practice has to offer. Let's go ahead and extend arms up to the heavens. Really reach tall, elongate the spine. And then exhale, fold. Body nostril breath, shake your head, lift your heels, rock your head side to side, begin lifting, alternating those heel lifts, and then bring it center, and then drop those hands down, place your knees down, and we're gonna cat and cow. So your chin to your chest, roll your pelvis under, navel in, and then come back neutral. Then warm up that spine, roll it under, chin to chest, pelvis under, come back neutral. And again, round it, tuck it and release it and then hold it i want you to curl your toes under so those toes curl under hands and shoulders and wrists line up knees and hips line up and i want you to lift one knee and then the next and then the next and then the next and then four and then three and then two center hold it now lift both knees and lift and lift and lift we'll feel that engagement feel four feel three feel two last one Hold, and I want you to take your elbows in, chin, chest down, tailbone up. And then press away. Bring it down, tailbone up to the sky, chin, chest down, gaze forward, press away. Take it down, press away, take it down, press away. Now you fire in those arms, shoulder blades down and back, elbows tucked back, tailbone high, navel spine. Four more, three more, two more, and your last one, press away and then press it back, child's pose. Sit nice and deep, extend in those arms. Reach it out, lengthen those arms. Now your arms are long, your tailbone and spine press back. You're gonna roll yourself out, hands stay where they are, curl your toes under and lift your tailbone high, downward facing dog. Pedal your heels, shake your head. And just find your down dog. So as you really press in, you want to grip with those fingers, suction cup your hands. The center portion of your hand pops off the mat. Your fingers grip and the knife edge of your hand presses into the mat. Your arms are long, your ears and elbows are side by side, your spine is long, tailbone is high to the sky. Now if you bend in those knees, you can bend in those knees, hand that tailbone high, and this could be your downward dog. As you begin to lengthen those legs, press those heels down, just do your best. The heels don't have to touch and you can keep a bend in your knees. The idea is that you're lengthening the arms, the torso, and those legs. Feeling lengthening and strengthening, happening in unity. And then roll it out, plank pose, fully extended or on your knees. If you're on your knees, you have a long spine. You want to kickstand those legs back, hover whole, shift your weight forward and back. Just rock forward and back. And hold, drop to your right knee, kick, stand that leg out, open up, kneeling, side plank. Reach that arm high to the sky, reach up, and then lengthen the arm all the way up and over. And then you're gonna cartwheel yourself, lift your arm up, expand up as that right arm lifts, lengthen that left arm down that leg, gaze up to the ceiling. 
and then cartwheel those hands down, bring yourself center into that plank pose, and then come all the way down for your cobra pose. Glue your feet to the mat, so don't let your legs lift. Don't have your legs out wide to the side. Zip those thighs, glue the toes down, even your baby toe, and then roll your shoulder blades down and back. Maybe hover your hands, and then just lower and lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Four, three, two, lift, hold, and maybe press into that mat, lift a little higher and hold. And then release it, press back, child's pose. And then roll it out, curl the toes downward, facing dog. Settle your heels, tailbone high to the sky. Hold and breathe again, bend in those knees if you need to, elongate the spine. Then press it back, heels down only if you can. Find what works for you and then bring yourself out plank pose. Fully extended or on those knees with a long spine. Hold right here, breathe in, breathe out, really round in that upper back, really press into those arms and drop into that left knee, reach that right arm high to the sky. Reach it all the way up and over, find that length, gaze up through your armpit, hold, feel that stretch through your side body, and then cartwheel those arms up, reach that arm up and over, and gaze is up. The left arm's up overhead, right arm lengthens down that leg, reach out, feel that side body stretch, and then cartwheel your hands down. Bring yourself center, press it up, fully center, kneeling, and come all the way down onto your abdominals and round in your spine. Cobra pose. And just little lifts, lower and lift. And again, zipping through your thighs. Glue your toes to the mat, and you'll lift for four, for three, for two. Last one, hold it, and this time you can press into your mat and round into your spine for upward facing dog. Now find your knees if you need them. You can pop off your knees, deepening the bend. It's an arm strengthening. As you lengthen those arms, press into your mat. Grip with those fingers, arms are long, shoulders and wrists are aligned up, spine is long. Smiles on our faces. Feel the joy igniting in our hearts. And then just lift your hips, downward, facing dog. You're gonna walk your hands back. Sit nice and deep into your chair pose. Hands to your knees and little pulses. Get yourself centered. So when you're here, what we don't want to do is push our knees forward. So you're not doing this motion. What you're doing is this motion. Really accentuate by pushing your booty back. Press it back, press it back. This is where you like the fire in your thighs, your quads and your hamstrings. Now bring your hands prayer. Keep the navel pressed to the spine, shoulder blades down and back. Smiles on our faces, extend those arms and hold. Just hold right here. Breathe in, breathe out. As we hold in this posture in our chair pose. So back in the ancient days of time, yoga is like, hmm, thoughts 10,000 years old. Like it's very ancient, right? So a lot has transformed through the practice. But stories do tell that back in the day, they would find a posture and hold it in meditation. So yoga is meditation in movement. Meditation is clearing of the distraction, right? It's finding that stillness. So maybe right here in this moment, just find some stillness, just breathe, drawing our senses inward. So we draw, withdraw the senses, be present right here and now. Feel your essence and hold in this posture, maybe drop another inch down, roll that pelvis under. Breathe and hold, and then bring your hands to heart. Sit a little deeper, and then we're just gonna flow, lift up tall, and have a seat, lift, as we flow in our chair, again, maintaining present moment awareness, that meditative movement, lift and flow. Breathe in, breathe out. So prayer is when we're talking and communing with God. Meditation is when we're listening. So as we flow on our practice, we can do a little both. Breathe in, breathe out. Our practice is to awaken us to that connection. And in that space, we find peace of mind. With peace of mind, we find our joy. It's at the seat of our soul. We allow it to shine. In that space of contentment and happiness, we awaken our bliss. Yes, yes, yes. Sit deep, lift tall, four more, three more, two more. And your last one, have a seat, hold it. 
Reach those arms out, hold it. Then take a right foot, lift it up, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Wrap that leg around, tap that toe to the floor. Hands to heart. So right foot comes on top, toes out to the side. Coming to Eagle Pose. So a little deeper, feel this amazing stretch right here. Engagement, if you can wrap your toes around, wrap them around. Bring right hand underneath and ramble those arms. Right arms under the left. Lift up, sit deep, hold and breathe. And then release, lift it up, have a seat. Reach those arms up, lift the left leg, ramble it around. Tap that toe to your mat, hands to heart. You can hold right here in your eagle pose. You can wrap that toe around, take the left arm underneath and lift it up. Hold and breathe, in and out. And then release it, lift it, expand all the way up. Take your left hand to your right wrist, lengthen over that side body, stretch it over, and then lift, release, grip. Other side, stretch it over, gaze up, bring it center, heel toe your feet, place your hands into the small of your back, bend the nose, knees, and draw your shoulder blades down and back as you press your hips forward, rounding gaze up. Feel that bend, it can be small, it can be big. It can be a small little motion as you take your gaze up. You bend those knees, soften, and take that gaze back. What you don't wanna do is just drop your neck all the way back and pinch off the cervical part of your neck. You don't wanna do that. So just keep it all lined up as you bend back, the head will just naturally drop back. And then bring yourself up. Walk those feet together. Do a little dance. All right, hands to heart. <laughs> take a big inhale, left, exhale, fold. Walk it out, plank pose. So in your plank, what we don't want is our butt up like this. So we don't want our shoulders out having air supporting us. We want to have our shoulders and our wrists lined up. So drop to your knees if we need to with a long spine. You can be right here or right here fully extended. And over here, our elbows are going to tuck in. You're going to shift your weight forward. You're on your knees, elbows and shoulders lined up, and you're going to flip upward facing dog. All on those knees. And then rock yourself back on those knees, curl the toes downward, facing dog. Hold and breathe. We're gonna go several rounds of this. So I want you to first little step or hop to the top. You're gonna lift those heels, you're gonna gaze between your hands, you're gonna squat into your thighs and just little pulses. This is gonna be your little prep up to the top of your mat. Squat deep, hold, and then take a foot, step to the top. Other foot, step to the top. Take a big inhale, lift, find your chair. Lift up tall, exhale, fold. Squat deep, monkey pose, and then step it back, downward, facing dog. Bring it out to plank. Drop to those knees if you need to. Elbows tuck in, shift your weight, chad along, the elbows and shoulders line up. Flip upward, facing dog, fully extended or kneeling. And if you want, you can add a little push up back. Downward, facing dog. Hold in your down dog. And then lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, and then take a step or hop to the top of your mat. Take a big inhale, lift, find your chair. Lift, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward dog. Roll it out, plank pose. Shift your weight forward, rotate those elbows down, full extended or kneeling, come all the way down, roll upward, facing dog. And if you want to add that push up, just an option, you don't have to, and then press it back downward dog. Now we're gonna add on, so take that right foot, I want you to kick it up. So if you need to, come to, oops, I kicked my chair, come to um, your knee. You can come to your left knee and kick that right leg up and stack your hip. As you stack that hip, just um, allow that knee to lift a little higher to open it up. If you're on your three-legged dog, open it up. So you're either kneeling or three-legged dog. And then wherever you are, I want you to bring that leg through. So if you're kneeling, take the leg, step it up, and you're gonna take your hand to your ankle and press it up further. Press those hips forward. If you're in your three-legged dog, 
Take it, step it up. You'll have a little more depth to get through further, so you may not need to have your hand to assist you to walk that foot up. Press in, elongate your spine. Press in. So knee and ankle are in alignment. Chest is forward, elongate, lengthen, and then walk yourself backwards. Lift your toes, sit deep, reach those fingers. Breathe in, breathe out. And then come back to that lunge, reach those arms high to the sky. Lift up tall, keep that back knee down. And if you need to, with this back knee, you can have that back foot, those toes curled under, or you can flatten those back feet. But you're pressing in, so you wanna make sure this knee and ankle are in alignment. As you reach high to the sky, relax the shoulders down and back. Press it in. And then opposite elbow to opposite knee, rotate, revolve. Shoulders are stacked, gaze is up. Just find your breath, hold in this posture. If you want to increase the intensity, you can kickstand that back leg and extend it as you're right here. Revolve, kickstand that back leg out and hold and revolve. You are more than welcome to hold in this variation. But right now, as we're internally rotated, we're cleaning out our internal organs. So just feel that rotation. Breathe. And then slowly bring your hands down and you're gonna step yourself into a nice deep lunge. Drop that back, heel down, lift the torso, reach it up, warrior one. Press into that front thigh. Press in, press in. So in this warrior one, our clock's at 12 o'clock, if you imagine you have a clock around you. Back toe, the knife edge of your foot is kissing the floor. Ankles are in alignment, that big back toe is about 11.30. Hands can always come to heart. We can extend them up. When you're here, make sure that it's knee and ankle in alignment so you don't want to press back. So what we don't want is like just to be like necessarily just hanging here. So you really want to activate the leg. So press into it with knee and ankle alignment. It can be a small stance or you can get deeper. It's your personal preference. All right, to where you work at your place of being out of your comfort zone, right? Because that's where the metamorphosis happens, that shift, that change, where you burst forth, breaking free from all that BS that we hold on to, those encasements around our soul that hold us in bondage, to create this narrative that doesn't really fit our true, true essence. And it holds us back from our joy, from living in our birthright. So let's go ahead and shift ourselves, center, to goddess post. Turn those toes out, hips turn out, and we rock side to side, into those hips, then center it down into that goddess. Expand through the heart and push your palms down. So be receptive internally and lift the heels and lower. Lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, for four, for three, for two, and your last one just lift it up and try to balance. You can keep the heels on the floor, lift them up to try to balance. And then I want you to pivot yourself around, crescent lunge to the back. So nice and deep in this crescent to the back. If you're in your crescent lunge, you find it too much, you can always drop to your back knee. Now as you're here crescent, I'm pressing my fingertips over my head. You can always keep them at your hands at prayer and heart center. Now I'm gonna swoop my arms down, lengthen my spine. So it's your left leg forward. If you're on your knee, press yourself forward. Elongate, really reach those arms back. <clears throat> Airplane your arms, reach them back, steadying yourself out, and then we're gonna shift our weight forward into bird pose. So lift your back leg, scapulatory depression with your back, gaze goes forward. So when we're here in this bird, this knee stays bent, this leg bends, pull your chest forward, gaze forward, scapulatory depression in your back. Breathe in, breathe out. If you need to keep your toe down, just press in to really activate the thigh right here on the left leg. You can always keep your toe down, but try to balance. If you fall over, perfect, that's the idea. Right, push out of the comfort zone, try something new. And then step it back, crescent lunge, nice and deep, sit deep into that crescent, then pivot back around for triangle pose. Pivot, sass in your hips, reach in your arm, really reach, Dynamically lengthening, now reach the opposite arm up. So the right leg is now forward, right hand down, left hand up. Hold and breathe. And 
and then slowly rotate opposite hand. It's gonna come to your thigh, which is your left hand to your right thigh, right hand to your back sacrum, rotate, shoulder stack, gaze up. If you're able to get deeper, you can drop your hand towards your shin. You don't want to put pressure on your knee. Get a little deeper. If you're able to get your hand to the mat, get your hands to the mat, and if you have a block or a can of soup or anything, you can always press it there. Hair wishes, arms up high to the sky. Gaze is up, 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 up and away. And then we are going to one more balancing. Take three fingers and line them with your toes and you're gonna lift up, balancing half moon. So if you're here, hand is to your sacrum and you're here just like this. And this is all you got, stay here, fantastic. If you're able to lift that leg, lift that leg. If you're able to extend that arm, extend that arm. Gaze going upward is the last effort right here you gotta give. You can begin to straighten and lengthen and breathe, hold it, and then wherever you are, bring it down, step it back, and find it downward facing dog. Settle your heels, shake your head, and then pull it out, go a little chaturanga, the upward facing dog, fully extended or kneeling. And then a little push up if you choose, back downward facing dog. And then right here, you're fully extended or drops that knee, lift that left leg, bend in that knee, stack in that hip. So you're kneeling or you're three legged dog and you're lifted. Hold and breathe. And then bring that leg through, drop to your back knee. Really press in. Again, if you're kneeling and you're bringing it through, you're going to take your hand and step it up and then press into it. So knee and ankle line up. What we don't want is this heel lifted and you're way back here and you're jetting yourself over your toes. So step it forward, press into it, elongate through this space. And again, remember your back toe can be flat or you can have it curled under. So flat or curled under and press in. Now straighten that leg, keep those fingers forward, forehead towards your knee. Just sit back and stretch, deepen and lengthen, breathe. Keeping that nostril breath. If your breath is elevated, you're always welcome to change it to in through your nose, out through your mouth. Ideally, just nostril breathing, keeping that deep rhythmic breath. Press in, hold, and lift the torso. Reach the arms up. Deepen in as you press it. Feeling the lengthening and strengthening happening in unity. And then feeling that unity through the mind, through the body, and the spirit. Feeling clarity in the mind. Feel renewed in the spirit. And then bring your hands prayer and revolve. So opposite elbow, opposite knee. If this is all you have, rotate. If you're able to get a little deeper, get a little deeper. Hands are prayer, gaze is up. And again, if you're able to kickstand that back leg, you can kickstand it back, just an option. You don't have to come fully extended, you can stay on that knee. It's whatever works best for you. Hold into that, breathe through it. Deep diaphragmic cleansing breaths. Breathe in, breathe out. And then go ahead and lift it up and bring yourself around. Send yourself right here. I'm sorry, warrior one, I forgot warrior one. Bring it back, warrior one, I forgot. Left toes forward, back. 12 o'clock, 1.30 on this side. So what we don't want to do is keep ourselves sassy. We don't keep ourselves out to the side. So you want to center yourself, tuck it under, rotate forward, deepen down. So again, knee and ankle are in alignment. Press it in, hands to heart or extend overhead. Deepen into that warrior one, feeling confident and empowered in our warrior one. Take a breath, inhale, take a breath, exhale. And then center yourself, goddess pose. Just shimmy in those hips, rock it out. Open up that space, toes turn out to the corners of your mat. Sit nice and deep in little pulses. Reach those arms, expand them out, and palms are down. So we're taking our attention within. Hold it. Lift the heels and lower. Lift and lower. As we're lifting and lowering, activating the body, connecting with the breath, clearing the mind, Open up new pathways as we rewrite, remap a new story, a new narrative with joy, with faith, with hope. Lift, lift, 
and lift four more, three more, two more. Last one, lift it up, hold it. Just a little deeper, hold it. Only lift if you can, just an option. Just an option. Then you're gonna pivot yourself around to the back crescent lunge. High in this lunge, reach those arms high to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out, front knee and ankle line up. If you need to find a knee to modify, you can. And then slowly swoop those arms, lengthen your spine, hinge it over. And reach it over, elongate. Really press in, so you're pressing in, that spine is long. Heel is up, if you need your back heel down or that knee, you can always find it. And now as you're here, I want you to jet up, rotate those arms, scapatory pressure, lift that back foot. Squat into that standing leg, swan pose. Hold and breathe. Hold it, step it back. Reach it up. Nice and deep back crescent, swoop it down, hold it, elongate, lengthen. Then step it up into that bird, that swan. Let that foot, if you need to modify and keep that toe on the mat, you can. Hold, breathe through it, step it back. How about one more time? Crescent lunge, nice and deep. Lengthen that spine, reach it, extend it, then rotate bird pose, hold it. Breathe in, breathe out, then step it back, pivot yourself to the front. All right, find your bearing, fall over, mess up, pick yourself up. Which way or which direction? Left foot forward, right foot back. Now find your sassiness. Find that triangle, hinge it, hip stack, shoulder stack, you're pressed between two panes of glass. Reach in those arms, expand, drop that hand down, drop the hand up, breathe in, breathe out. And again, your hand can rest on your shin, your thigh, without putting pressure on your knee. Have a can or a block of soup. Hip stack, shoulder stack, gaze is up. And then slowly, wherever you are, pivot it around. Opposite hand comes down to that thigh. Hand comes around to your back as you rotate stacking. Place your hand to your shin if you can, or all the way down, dropping that hip, dropping that shoulder. And then lastly, the hand goes up from your back to the sky. So right hand down, left hand up. As you rotate revolved, our final is going to be balancing and revolved half moon. So you can stay right here, or you can jet into that leg, front leg, walk those fingers forward, and extend the back leg. Reach the arm up. So as we are here, and we pivot around, hip stack, shoulders stack, gaze is up, extend. You may have a standing bend in that knee. You can straighten it, you can lengthen, you can hold it, gaze is up. About two or three fingers is really all you need. And then wherever you are, go ahead and step it back. Hands come down, take the legs, step it back. Pedal it out, shake it. And then go through a little sun salutation if you choose. Chin, chest down, all the way down, a little upward facing dog. And then press it back, child's pose. Sit deep in that child's pose. Now wide your knees for wide child's pose. We're gonna knot the needle. Take the left hand, bring it through, gaze through your armpit. Sit deep in that wide knee child's pose, hold and breathe, and that hand is extended in top. Just wrap it around your back. Just feel that stretch. If you're able to clasp the other thigh, you can. And just place it around, feel the stretch in your shoulders. Take a big inhale, big exhale, big aha. And then go ahead and release, extend that arm out, rotate it, and switch sides. Right hand comes through, drop that shoulder down, gaze through your armpit. And again, you keep that arm where it's at, over, overhead, that left arm, where you can bring it around your back. Just hug yourself there for a minute. Be able to place your hand around to your back thigh, you can, or just hold it as if you're placing it into your back pocket. Wherever's comfortable, keeping that shoulder open. And then go ahead and reach those arms back out. Sit nice, you've already come frog pose. So when we're here, our feet, Come together as we're sitting nice and deep. Walk our hands forward, press your hips forward, drop it down. Drop into those hips. Drop, 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 drop. Hold it. Really press into those thin hands. Press in, hold and breathe. Shoulder blades down and back. Hold and breathe through it. As you press it, you're thinking, well, if I don't feel anything, just knee, feet need to be together. Knees need to be wide. You need to be pressing down into those hips. And just breathe. And then sit back. Child's pose, pull those knees together, 
Shift your weight out. Sit back, crisscross those ankles and extend your legs in front of you. Shake them out. Rock side to side and shake, 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 shake. Rock side to side and shake, shake, shake. Sit nice and tall. Reach those arms up overhead and extend all the way over. Breathe in, breathe out, all the way down. Hold and breathe. If you got this, big stretch, big stretch. And then go ahead and bring your feet together for butterfly. Pull the heels in. Rock side to side. I do apologize for the noise in the background. There's people in my house, so I do apologize for that. <laughs> trying to talk over it, so I do apologize. Um, just pedal a little bit. Flap your wings. Flap your wings. Flap your wings. Pull your chest through. And exhale. Fold and breathe. And then go ahead and lift up and find your lotus pose. So let's just go ahead and sit nice and tall right here. Place your hands onto your knees and just take a minute as you breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Connecting to that breath and we are just going to do what's called an alternating nostril breath. So you're going to take your two, this is your right hand, you're going to take your left hand, place it down. These two um, fingers, the peace fingers, the index finger and your middle finger, place them at your brow. Take your thumb finger, you're gonna knock off your right nostril and your index finger, or your ring finger, you're gonna press off onto your left nostril. So we're just gonna block off the right, take a big inhale. And then block off the left and exhale. And exhale through the right. Block it off, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Block it off. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Block it off. Exhale through the left. Inhale. Block off the left. Exhale through the right. One more time. Big inhale through the right. Block it off, exhale to the left. Come to your normal breathing. Both palms are down. Feel the breath slowing down. Feeling that rhythmic breath. So that little breath, alternating nostril breath, really sets the parasympathetic nervous system. It's really balancing that left and right hemispheres of the brain. And just a little reset. So if any time through your day you feel like you need to come to a place of resetting yourself, Maybe turn on some music, dance for a minute, do a little uh, alternating nostril breath, just do some yoga movement, some meditative breath work, and also make prayer and meditation centered in gratitude and appreciation. These are our gifts, our tools. Along with spending time with those that we love. If we find the quality of life in the people we nourish ourselves with, the food we nourish ourselves with, where we spend our time and how we move our body, and living our purpose. As we connect to one another, we can create heaven on earth. And may you have a blissful soul today. May you shine that bliss out into the world. May you cultivate your bliss each and every day. And I'm here in any way, in any form, in any capacity that I can be a light for you to be a light to others. Because without you, I couldn't do me. So thank you for being here and showing up with me. So let's go ahead and bring your hands to heart center. Let's take three big inhales, lift arms all the way up, exhale, big inhale, lift, exhale, and big inhale. Go speak your joys today and be blessed. Namaste. Thank you.